In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the background of your images larger so that you can fit graphics or text. Hey everyone, welcome to this really fast video. Today I'm going to show you how you can expand the background of your portraits uh, so that you can place graphics or text or whatever else you want to put on there. Uh, this is going to be particularly useful if, uh, if you use things like Canva, for example, where you're making thumbnails or um, you're making social media posts uh, or something that you want to promote. You see this get done a lot where you've got a person on a white background, gray background, whatever, uh, and they're pointing at something and you want to place some graphics or some text or something where that person is pointing. Uh, and sometimes you just don't have enough room to be able to place those graphics on there. So as long as they're shot on a clean background, uh, even if it's a gradient background, I'm going to show you in Photoshop how you can create that extra space in there and it's dead easy and it takes no time at all. So let's go in there and take a look. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop and uh, this is version uh, 20.04, I believe it is, uh, 20.0.4. Um, but this will still work even if you have uh, even even if you're using one of the older versions so here is a perfect example of what I'm talking about uh, this is a stock image uh, that I downloaded and if you look at this image she's pointing up and ideally you would you would want to put uh, some text around here maybe or some uh, or a graphic that you're trying to promote but they're quite there isn't enough room in here so uh, this is uh, this is a quick and easy way to do it now normally what you would have to do is you would have to go and select um, select a uh, cut her out and maybe create a new background and then you place her onto a larger background uh, and that is probably the best way to do it but it does take a long time because selecting uh, complex uh, shapes such as hair does take a long time so I'm gonna show you a quick and nasty way that will do for probably 99% of the time and the first thing you need to do is you need to go into the actual uh, canvas size so that you, you're making it bigger now in this case we want to make it um, a little bit bigger to uh, above uh, above her head and maybe she's not quite centered so I'm gonna just create a little bit of space to the right of this so um, if you again uh, you go into the image uh, and canvas size. I'm working on a Mac, but it would be the same uh, on a PC. Um, and this is where we're going to make the canvas larger. So we, first of all, we want to give it a little bit of height. So the first thing to do is to indicate in which direction we want the height to go. So because we want um, to be, we want the the new space to be created above it. You uh, you select the down arrows to shift everything down, and it will fill these um, these blocks here. So in the height. This is 41 centimeters at the moment. Let's give it something like, say, um, let's go to 47 centimeters. And then we want to create a little bit of space to the right. Um, so again, uh, we are going to, in the width from 62, we're going to go to something like, say, uh, maybe, um, I don't know, 67 in this one. But these numbers are up to you. You can create as much space as you want. Uh, you click OK, and you will see that you've now got all this extra space in there. Uh, which is great, except there is no, uh, there's no color. The, the color doesn't match. Now, what we could do is we could go and create a new layer in here, um, and we could go in there using the brush tool, and uh, we can try and paint some of that. So you can select the color in there, and you can paint, and that's fine. Except that you start noticing that the color will change because it's a gradual. It, it's not the same pink. It, it gets darker from the bottom. So that's not really going to work because uh, it looks like it's been painted on. So we'll just undo that. And uh, what we're going to do in here, this is the, the the base layer. We're going to create a new uh, a new a copy of that layer by doing Command J or Control J if you are on a PC. And then we're going to use the rectangular marquee tool and the key with this is now we're going to make a selection and we're going to select part above her head where there is um where there is just pink so it doesn't matter that you've got empty space to the right what you don't want to do is you don't want to select into her head or any other object it needs to be blank so once you've selected you let go and then you've got your with your selection active you do a command t or control t uh on a pc 
and this is the transform tool now if you're using the latest version of Photoshop you will need to hold the shift key for the next for this next step uh, if you've got an older version of Photoshop you don't but the best thing to do is just try it with the shift key or try it without the shift key and one of the one of them will work and one of them will not work so in my case because I've got the latest version I'm gonna hold down the shift key I'm gonna grab onto this handle and I'm gonna drag it up and then I'm gonna let go I'm gonna hit the little tick mark up there and that's now stretched the top part of the image uh, but because it's the same color and it's, and, and it's got a gradient uh, you can't really tell so now we're gonna do the same thing for the right hand side of the image again we're gonna make a selection in there using the rectangular uh, marquee tool and uh, over here and then once it's selected we're going to do a command T or control T on a PC we're going to grab the right handle holding the shift key we're going to drag it all the way to the right and stretch that bit of the image here return or the uh, tick mark up at the top control D to get rid of your selection and there you have it you've now got a much larger background where you can go in and now you can place your graphics up here and uh, you've got plenty of room if you wanted to create more room you just simply uh, increase the canvas size even larger and you just do the same thing again and uh, and that is one quick and easy way to do it it's um, it's not perfect but it'll be perfect enough for about 90 98 percent of the of the work that you do so that's it a quick and easy way to get around that problem so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and if you found this content particularly useful please let me know by leaving me a comment that's all i've got for you today thank you very much for watching and i will see you at the next video